Greetings, Uverse. Welcome to Gunverse YouTube channel. So, in this box right here, contains something that is going to greatly help our channel out. Uh, I didn't realize how inexpensive, or, or how, how affordable they are, rather. Uh, in this box contains a chronograph, and it, it basically just measures how many feet per second uh, your projectile's going, and I'm pretty sure you can use like BB guns, arrows, like you can, anything that's a projectile, I'm pretty sure you can measure the speed. So I'm gonna open this up, and it's my first time looking at it. So I ordered essentially what was the cheapest chronograph I could find. And Amazon said they'd gladly bring it to my house the very next day. So, let's see what we got. For a long time, I've wanted to get one of these for the channel, but I always thought they were like four or five hundred bucks for some reason. So, luckily, there's a certain country out there that's willing to manufacture anything uh, at all <laughs> for a an, an, an more inexpensive price. So, Okay, so inside this box, we have this box. So, as you can see, we've got some bubble wrap, and this is the base of the uh, chronograph. Looks like you got some instructions, thankfully, because I've never used one of these. I mean, it seems pretty simple. You turn the thing on, and then, oh, it's battery, battery operated, which is good because... I mean, I do have a, a little battery pack I can hook it up to, but um, yeah, so far it's looking pretty, uh, I don't know if cheap is the word I'm looking for, but it feels like it's, it's kind of like in the in the army, like the uh, your, all your gear goes to the lowest bidder. So like wh whoever can do the job properly for the least amount of money. That's what, that's the feeling I'm getting on this. That's the vibe I'm getting on this so far. Okay. Okay. So. In this bubble wrap we have series of rods and screws and screwdrivers here and then these light strips so I don't know actually let me uh, I'm gonna have to look at the directions because like I said I've never ever uh, had one of these before okay so just judging on the picture the light bars go on top and then these rod these go into here and then the light bars go on top of that okay so upon further review i read these directions which are comically the grammar is very comic but uh comical rather so it says to install five, four number five batteries and then turn on the power switch. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build the antenna before I do the uh, battery part. And then, so it looks like it gave us an extra, an extra rod and an extra light. 
because you only need four rods, one, two, three, four, and then the two of the things at the top. So looks like they gave us extra pieces, which I don't know if that gives me confidence or is worrying. I can't tell. So I guess there's only one way to find out. So you thread these on, these bent, these bent uh, screws right here. I wonder if it's someone's job in a factory to just sit there and bend, sc bend these screws all day. Wouldn't be surprised. So <clears throat> I um, was putting together um, a firearm to use on the channel yesterday. And I took a giant chunk of skin off the tip of my thumb. So my point being is just take your time and be careful because uh, stuff's dangerous. Um, there's lots of sharp surfaces. Flesh yields to steel every single time. So uh, I don't know. I guess I just was going too fast and i was excited too i wanted to try it try it out yesterday but it's raining today so it's not a good day to go out but yesterday was nice okay got the four uh rods in, in, installed and then these three light bars look exactly the same So, I guess, I guess they're all the same. Alright, so, I go... go like this this would be a good job for somebody with little hands not me Definitely a little bit of uh, bending going on, but once it's permanently there, it'll be fine, I think. See how that's slightly bent now, whereas before it was straight, but I'm sure that's normal. All right, so that's tight. And I also read in the directions, you pass the projectile through this way, which makes sense. The screen is right here. That's the on button. So the projectile has to pass through the same way the screen is. All right, put this second one on. screwdriver 
so yeah we got a lot of stuff coming up on the channel we've got um the police issued shootout showdown that's happening next friday um we have another episode of hand cannons coming up uh with something new and then we have the ak-74 versus m4 showdown as well so Lots of good content coming up. I just gotta wait for some good weather to film it. But next Friday, the police issued shootout showdown is happening no matter what. I don't care what the weather's doing, uh, how bad the bugs are, it doesn't matter. It's going down this coming Friday. So it'll be up on YouTube probably the next day, next Saturday. And then. Like I said, after that, we're going to do the AK-74 versus M4. And we're going to kind of do it the same way we do the police-issued shootout showdown. I'm going to get a foam board. That's what that foam board right there is for. That's going to be a scoreboard. I'm going to put electrical tape and make it into different grids. And uh, that's going to be uh, the scoreboard for the scoring and uh, I'm going to do the AK and M4 uh, video in a similar format. So hopefully you guys like that. All right, so here's our f mostly finished product. And it's funny how they didn't really bend the same. This one's kind of like bent more over here, and this one's more kind of universally bent the same. But all right, so now I'm going to go... Oh, I need four number five batteries, whatever that's supposed to mean. I have tons of batteries, but I don't know if I have number fives. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Okay, so just double A's. 1.5 volts. Yeah, it looks like just double A's to me. Okay. So, let me go get some double A's. Okay, I've got my four number five batteries. AKA double A's. Making sure they're all seated properly. And then that goes back on. Oop. Well, I already know it works. <laughs> this screw's going to be hard to get back on. Barely even fits into the screwdriver they provide. I think that was the hardest part of <clears throat> I think that was the hardest part of putting the whole thing together. Was getting that little screw back into the battery pack. Alright. Cool. So as you can see it lights up. So I know I did something right. So it says 
it, the default setting is to feet per or meters per second, and then um, you can change it to feet per second. Okay, well, I'll I'll fool around with it. Okay, well, it's picking something up. That's good. Okay, so I think the two dots is feet per second, and the four dots, or, um, excuse me, the four dots is feet per second, and the two dots is meters per second, I think. So, but anyway, I would say that's a resounding success. So, uh, now, now the channel, we can uh, test different velocities and see the difference between snub noses and regular length barrels and whatnot. So uh, we're getting more scientific by the minute. Look at us. Look at us go over here at Gunverse. Anyway. Thank you for joining me today on Gunverse YouTube channel. And uh, if you could hit the subscribe button, we'd really appreciate it. And we will see you next time.